Hello, my name is Gian Pazia. I'm a principal at KBKG and a certified cost segregation professional. I'm going to be walking you through how our residential cost segregator software works. The residential cost segregator was created to provide tax preparers with a tool that allows them to prepare a cost segregation report on smaller residential properties without the need to hire a third party cost segregation engineer. By using basic information and allowing the building owner to fill out a simple survey about the property, our software provides a detailed cost breakdown categorized by tax life that can be used for income tax depreciation purposes. This is accomplished by using empirical construction cost data and proprietary algorithms written by the KBKG cost segregation engineering team. The primary goal of our software is to identify all the property related costs that can be depreciated faster. Typically you depreciate these with a 5, 7 or 15 year tax life. And then the secondary goal of the residential cost segregator is to establish the depreciable tax value for each major building component that is likely to be replaced in the future. The residential cost segregator is available for residential rental properties up to six units with a depreciable tax basis of $500,000 or less. So that's typically the purchase price less the land value. The benefits on average are greater than $20,000 of additional deductions in the first five years. Before you even log into our software, you can quickly generate an estimate of potential tax savings for your client. From our website, simply click on Estimate Your Tax Savings. All you need is the depreciable tax basis and the approximate date the property was acquired. So I'm going to use an example here of $300,000 and placed in service date in 2014. Once I hit the preview button you can see a nice estimate that you can forward to your client in this case for a $300,000 property the additional deductions they could expect in the first year are between seventeen and twenty five thousand dollars. Now you can download this and forward it to your client and get them to agree to move forward with a cost segregation report. Once your client agrees that they want to move forward with the cost segregation report, you simply log into our residential cost segregator software and from the dashboard you can click on the new report button. You'll then see our application open a new project. From here you have the option to enter in as much information that you know about the property and then send your client an email invitation link to fill out the rest of the survey about their property. So let's say you have their depreciation schedule in front of you and we know that the street address is 123 Any Street in Chicago. Illinois, and we know the depreciable tax basis is $300,000 and it was placed in service on 7 1 of 2014. Now I can send an email invitation to my client who owns the building and they can fill out the rest of the form. Go ahead and type in their email address and they'll get an email telling them exactly what they need to do. Once your client clicks on the link, they'll see a very similar screen and now they can finish the survey. The key to this software is how simple it is for your client to answer these questions. Let's continue by walking you through what your client sees. We'll go ahead and select a residential single family that's two stories. Uh, we'll use a building square footage of 2,000 square feet on a 4,000 square foot lot. I will say it has a stucco finish and a, let's say, no basement. We can move over to the interior tab and go ahead and select that there's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 
There's some fire sprinklers. And then you can select uh, what kind of flooring is in each room. We'll go ahead and select vinyl. We'll say the bedrooms have carpeting. We'll next move to the interior features where you select if it has heating and cooling or both. And then what kind of heating or cooling system it is. So we'll just use a central ducted system. We'll say that there's six ceiling fans and that there are horizontal blinds on the windows. Under the appliance section, you simply check the box for which appliances came with the property when you purchased it. We'll then move to the exterior section. Uh, here you describe whether it has a parking garage and whether it's attached or detached. We'll go ahead and say it's attached and there's two spaces in that garage. Then you select how many parking spaces there are outside in the driveway. So here let's say there's three spaces in the driveway and under site improvements you simply check what kind of features you have. So we'll say that there's landscaping and we have a patio. In this last section you have the option to input um, the lineal feet of any kind of walls or fences on the property. So I'll go ahead and say that there's a wood fence, 100 lineal feet on the property. And on that last screen, uh, it's simply a review screen so your client can do one final review before they submit. Uh, once they're good with all the information, they go ahead and click submit and that sends an email uh, back to you telling you that the uh, information has been input. Now the next time you log into the residential cost segregator, you can look on your dashboard and go ahead and resume the last property that you were working on. Once you've reviewed all the information and you're ready, you simply click the calculate button to generate your report. And now we have our cost segregation report breakdown that can be used to file your tax return. The first page is a nice summary of how much additional tax deductions were created and how much that means to your client. In this case, $24,000 of additional deductions in the first year were created. And if they're able to use all those deductions, that translates into $9,674 of tax savings in the first year. On the report's second page, we'll see the complete building construction cost breakdown. You can see that each item the owner indicated from the survey is reflected in our results. For example, the fire sprinklers, the landscaping, and there was also some carpet in the bedrooms and so on. Each major cost is organized by the appropriate tax category, giving you all the information you need to file the tax return. And the final page is documentation for your file on all the inputs that the owner filled out for the property. You have the option to save this as a PDF and send it to your client and also export the results to Excel in a format that can easily be imported into most tax depreciation softwares. The tax preparer has the option to use KBKG's online 481A adjustment calculator. The results from the residential cost segregator can be immediately imported into the 481 calculator so it only takes seconds to generate the required attachment schedules for the Form 3115. Go ahead and click that button just to show you how simple it is. And as you can see, the results from the cost segregation study have been immediately imported into our 481A adjustment software. You simply need to fill out the rest of the information, which includes the taxpayer's name, identification number, and accumulated depreciation on the original asset. For more information on how to use our 481A calculator, you can view that demo online on our website anytime. The next thing I want to show you is our partial disposition calculator. To access this, you simply go to the KBKG Solutions dashboard and under the calculator section, 
you click on partial disposition calculator. The partial disposition calculator was created to help estimate the unadjusted depreciable basis of a building component that has been disposed in order to claim a partial disposition deduction. The calculator uses a discounting method which is allowed by the IRS using the producer price index. We take the current replacement cost of the new component and discount it back to the old components placed in service date, all while considering the condition of the respective component at the time it was acquired. This is accomplished by considering the component's normal life and effective age. Let me walk you through an example. Let's say your client purchased or replaced windows in their apartment complex and spent $200,000 and the replacement incurred in the middle of 2015. Uh, we know from the depreciation schedule that the building was originally acquired for $3 million and the original acquisition date was in 2008. From the depreciation schedule, we can also pull the accumulated depreciation uh, that has occurred on the building. So I'm going to go ahead and input um, just any number for example's sake. We'll say the accumulated depreciation is $300,000. We then go to the component section and type in any kind of component. In this case, we'll type in windows and we'll see different options for windows. Um, I'll go ahead and select vinyl windows and you'll see that the software automatically pre-populates that the normal life of a vinyl window is 24 years. It's also calculating that the windows lasted seven years from the time we purchased the building in 2008 to the time we replaced the windows in 2015. So what the software is doing is it's calculating the effective age of the windows at the time it was acquired. Using this information, uh, we can uh, apply the appropriate condition factor uh, to the window. So I'm going to go ahead and click Calculate, let the software run its calculations, and what you'll see is that the result is that the adjusted cost of the component removed, in this case windows, is $80,682. That represents the value of the windows in the old building that you can claim a partial disposition deduction on. So what our software does is it goes ahead and calculates uh, the accumulated depreciation on the windows and then of course calculates what your re regular federal tax deduction should be. For more information on how to use these tools I encourage you to register for a free account on the KBKG Solutions website. There you can click on more in-depth video tutorials to answer all of your questions.